Good morning children. Let's focus on today's assignment on the topic given climate. So here comes the first question. What is a burst? The normal rainfall increases suddenly and continues constantly for several days due to the arrival of the monsoon wind. At the end of summer season is called burst of monsoon. Photographer and monsoon chaser Brian Snyder was taking time-lapse footage of a storm in the Tucson area when he captured this incredible weather event, a wet microburst. Microbursts affect an area of no more than two and a half miles across, and they occur when a cooled, heavier column of air sinks rapidly in the middle of a thunderstorm. As the air hits the ground, it spreads out with great force, often generating winds of over 150 miles per hour. In the case of a wet microburst, it also brings crashing rain, often described as a rain bomb. Thunderstorms are frequent and quickly forming at this time of year in Arizona, but to capture a microburst so vividly was a special event. to question number two. Here comes question number two. Name the two branches of the monsoon. The southwestern monsoons arrive in two branches. The first, the Arabian Sea branch and the second, the Bay of Bengal branch. The Arabian Sea branch reaches Mumbai after 10 days later approximately the 10th of June and the Bay of Bengal branch also advances rapidly and arrives in Assam in the first week of June. This video is on southwest monsoon. From the words you can figure out that the monsoon winds arrive from the southwestern direction of the Indian subcontinent. It primarily affects the Indian subcontinent. It is known as the oldest and the most anticipated weather phenomena in India, which occurs every year from June to September. That is when the summer season starts in India. Southwest monsoon arrives on the Indian landmass in two branches. A through the Arabian Sea branch and B through the Bay of Bengal branch. The Arabian Sea side of the southwest monsoon first hits the western ghats of Kerala. Then the monsoon wind moves northern part of the country. The Bay of Bengal side of monsoon flows over the Bay of Bengal region and heads towards the eastern Himalaya and gives rain to the northeast India, Bangladesh and West Bengal. The Arabian Sea branch of the monsoon is quite stronger compared to the Bay of Bengal branch. And the reason behind that is because of the existence of the Thar Desert, that is the region of Gujarat and Rajasthan, about which I'll speak in a while. Always remember, Kerala is the first state in India to receive southwest monsoon rain. And the territory of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands are the first union territory to receive southwest monsoon rain. Because if you look at the pattern of the southwest monsoon winds, as soon as the winds hit the southernmost tip of the Indian subcontinent, a good amount of these high velocity winds travel over the open regions of the Lakadiv Sea and hits the territory of Andaman and Nicobar Islands first. Now coming to the mechanism of the southwest monsoon. Let's begin with this image. This picture tells us the seasonal relationship between the sun and the earth. Different seasons on Earth are caused by the axial tilt of the Earth towards the Sun. During the month of December, the southern hemisphere of the Earth is more exposed towards the Sun, causing summer season in southern hemisphere. The opposite happens in the northern hemisphere. That means northern hemisphere of the Earth faces winter season in December. Right around the month of March, the northern hemisphere of the Earth slowly starts tilting towards the Sun. And by the time it reaches the month of May and June, summer season starts in the northern hemisphere of the Earth. That means the northern hemisphere during the month of May, June, July receives more solar energy. Okay students, now let's move on to question number three. What is the duration of monsoon from June to mid-September? And the answer is the duration of monsoon from June to mid-September is for 100 to 120 days. Thus, we can say that the rainfall in India is concentrated over for a few months. Moving on to the next question, that is question number four. In which month the western Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana and East Rajasthan experience the monsoon? The monsoon arrives at the southern tip of the Indian peninsula, generally by the first week of June.
question here we go so the fifth question is in which month the monsoon reaches himachal pradesh and rest of the countries so the answer is by mid july because the arabian sea branch of the monsoon arrives over the central part of the country by mid july the arabian sea and the bay of bengal branches of the monsoon merge over the north western part of the ganga plain thus reaches to the himachal pradesh and the rest of the country by mid july so let's move on to question number 6 last but not the least in which month uh, the monsoon withdraws from the rest of the country and the answer is by early december the monsoon withdraw in the month of early december the monsoon because the rest of the country because it is a gradual process this withdraw of monsoon begins in the north western state in india by early september but completely withdraw takes place in the month of december that is in the very beginning period of december that's it the question what is given today children so each question is connected to each other so you can see that how this all total from question number 1 to 6 is connected thank you so much